Good morning. Today is Sunday, August 22nd, and I hope everybody's doing great. Is anybody tired today? I know most of you have had almost a week of school, and I remember that there's no tired like the first week of school tired. I think this is true for students, for teachers, for parents, for school staff. So hang in there. Get plenty of rest, eat the right foods, get some exercise and fresh air, and prepare yourself to have a great year. Does anyone ever ask you what you'd like to be when you grow up? I think this is a pretty common question for grown-ups to ask kids. Sometimes you're asked to talk or write about it in school. My grandson says that it's a hard, maybe even an unfair question because so many times kids aren't sure what they want to be or do when they grow up and choose a career. There's so many possibilities, and it's okay not to be sure. But some kids do have definite ideas of what job they'd like to choose. Maybe they want to be a baseball player or some other sports career. Maybe they want to be a firefighter or a teacher or a nurse, or a minister, or a truck driver, or a waitress, or a construction worker, a grocery store clerk, a farmer, a stay-at-home mom or dad. There's so many great choices. In some of these jobs, the people involved need to use special uniforms or equipment or tools. For example, a baseball player would use a glove. You sure wouldn't want to catch a hard hit ball without one. The catcher on a baseball team behind the plate would need to use a mask, a chest protector, and shin guards. A construction worker would use a hard hat and goggles. A firefighter, among other equipment, would use a helmet and a mask. When I was a teacher, I even had some protective gear that I used because kindergarten can be quite messy. I had an apron or a vest that I used to keep my clothes from getting paint or whatever else came my way on them, and it had great pockets. In our lives, in our daily living, we often need special items that will protect us from the dangers or the harm or the messiness that can come our way that make our lives difficult. In today's scripture in Ephesians chapter 6 verses 10 through 20, we are taught that in our lives we need protection from the sin and evils that Satan sends our way. This scripture tells us to put on the full armor of God. It compares the protection that we can find in God to the armor that the soldiers wore in biblical times. These soldiers wore a breastplate, and we are told to put on the breastplate of righteousness. We are to always try to do what God says is right. We are told that these soldiers wore a belt, and our belt of protection is the truth. We are to always try to tell the truth and to especially hold on to the truth that Jesus is our Savior. Now, in most jobs, we need sturdy shoes. The soldiers did too. We are taught through the scripture that we should wear the shoes of the gospel of peace. Peace that God wants us to know and to share with others. The peace of the good news of Jesus. Soldiers during biblical times came across dangerous and scary times, and they used a shield of protection. Times can often seem scary now, and our shield of protection is the shield of faith. 
faith in knowing that God is always with us through dangerous and scary times. The faith in knowing that He will never leave us. Some of the jobs that we talked about need helmets, and the soldiers in biblical times wore helmets. Our helmet is the helmet of salvation, knowing that Jesus came down from heaven to earth to save us from the sins of the world. And finally, the soldiers used a sword. Our sword of protection is the sword of the Holy Spirit that can be found in the Bible, in God's holy word. Today we need protection in every part of our lives and we need to remember that that protection is offered to us through the full armor of God. We need to hang on to it and we need to put it on every day. Let's pray. Dear God, you have offered us protection from the sins and the evils of the world. Thank you. Help us to always remember to put on your full armor. In Jesus' name, amen. Hope you'll have a great week this week. I hope you'll take advantage of any of the programs that we offer either in person or online. I hope you will all stay safe and healthy, that you will be blessed and that you will be a blessing. Remember that we're praying for you, that God loves you, that Surfside Methodist loves you, and that you can be protected by the full armor of God. Bye-bye.